Welcome to Caseware Quick Vids. This quick vid demonstrates adding and deleting subtotals in financial statements using Caseware Financials. You can control the behavior of subtotals in all tables in the financial statements. You have the ability to add, delete, and subtract subtotals. We are simply going to look at adding and deleting subtotals. To begin, open the financial statements document. Then select the Table Tools ribbon. In the Financial Statements document, navigate to the table where you want to use a subtotal. I'm going to do this by using the side navigation panel to go to my balance sheet. And from there, I'll click within the table. Next, click on the subtotal symbol to access the subtotal drop-down menu. You can also access this from the Home ribbon and the Insert ribbon. On the subtotal menu, you will see three options, Add, Delete, or Subtract. To add a subtotal, click Add. The Select Rows dialog displays. From the rows in the dialog, choose the ones you would like to have subtotaled. The rows must be continuous, otherwise an information dialog will appear, prompting you to subtotal all rows between your first and last selections. I will be adding together cash and short-term investments. Select the Create Collapsible section if you would like the row to become collapsible. This will insert a title row above the subtotal rows. When collapsed, the title and the subtotal amounts will display, but all rows making up the subtotal will be hidden. If you do not want to use the default title and subtotal styles, uncheck Apply Title and Subtotal Styles. I am choosing to create a collapsible section and I am going to use the default title and subtotal styles. Click OK. A subtotal line is added and a subtotal indicator is now present. My subtotal row is collapsed by default, but if I click on the plus sign, the section will appear with the items that make up my subtotal. You can add a description to the subtotal row by placing the cursor in the row's input area and typing a description. You can also create a subtotal when inserting rows. This is accessible from Insert Rows, where you'll have the choice to create subtotal, create collapsible section, and apply title and subtotal styles. To delete a subtotal, again, place your cursor in the relevant table section and choose Delete from the subtotal drop-down menu. In the Select dialog, select the checkbox for the subtotal or subtotals that you want to delete. Once selected, click OK. Click Yes when the warning appears to continue with the deletion. Note that deleting all rows that make up subtotal also deletes the subtotal and, where applicable, the collapsible section. You can see that my subtotal has been removed from the table. Alternatively, I could have deleted a subtotal by right-clicking the subtotal itself and choosing Delete Subtotal. Both methods work just as well. This concludes the quick vid on adding and deleting subtotals in financials. For additional resources, including documentation and online help, see the related links. Thank you for watching Caseware Quick Vids.